The following is a presentation of Radio Plus Sports. The complete broadcast schedule can be found at radioplusinfo.com. Good Saturday evening to you. Glad to have you along here on RadioPlusInfo.com. Jordan King with you. And we have the matchup of the night in the state of Wisconsin. I don't think that is any uh, hyperbole this evening. Laconia and Bonduel getting after it here tonight for a regional crown. Both of these teams are excellent. Both of them finished the regular season. The final coaches poll, Laconia was ranked number one, best team in the state, defending state champions. Bonduel last season appeared in, appeared in a sectional semifinal. They lost that, got knocked out. Uh, this is a Bonduel team who, going back to 2017-2018 season, ever since that season they've won the, at least a regional title, uh, by my research. Uh, a couple of trips to state in there, a couple of trips to the sectional final in there as well. This is a program that's been here before. And you know Laconia has been here before as well. So not only are both of these teams excellent, both of these programs are excellent. On the season, both teams 23-2 and two on the year. Bonduel, they're on a 22-game winning streak. They started out the season 1-2. and two. Since then, rattled off 22 straight wins. Uh, their last win, a 70-23 to 23 dub against Oconto. And Laconia on a nine-game winning streak going back to their last loss of the season, which came to Madison Edgewood, a, uh, a division above them and, and one of the better teams in Division Three as well, and lost to them by a point on the road uh, in, in that one. That was a 50-49 to loss. They beat Crivets last night, 82-27, and you saw that right here on Radio Plus. This is the game across the state. I don't care where you look, and, and again, uh, there's going to be a lot of conversations about should two teams of this quality be ma ma uh, matching up this early in the playoffs. You saw it last year in the same sectional with Laconia where they had to – defeat the likes of Winnebago Lutheran, Sheboygan Lutheran in the Prairie School. This year it's the likes of Bonduel, St. Mary Catholic, and Sheboygan Lutheran once again. Uh, their, their sectional is littered with teams in the top ten in the coaches' poll. And tonight the two-seeded Laconia takes on the three-seeded uh, Bonduel team. So uh, this is I hope, I hope I explained that well enough. This is the game of the night in the state. And thanks for joining us here on Radio Plus. We got a dandy. Tierney Madigan leads things for, for the, uh, the Laconia Spartans, 14.5 points per game or thereabouts, just short of that after last night's performance. Ella Hishke leads it for Bonduel. She averages just north of 12 points per game. The thing that I'm most excited about is watching the battle on the glass. Both of these teams, neither one is super giant, right? You see uh, Bonduel comes out, they got some size. Laconia certainly with, with Ava Engel and, and Calista Vandenberg has some size as well. I'm excited to see what the battle of the boards looks like tonight. Bonduel probably wins the size uh, advantage, but Laconia is averaging 13 more rebounds than their opponents per game. Bonduel averages 10 more rebounds than their opponents. So it's strength on strength here tonight. Both teams take care of the basketball. Both teams want to force turnovers. Both teams go deep in terms of scoring. Both teams rebound well. So what's it going to be tonight? Uh, the Laconia Spartans, the defending state champions, the team that everyone's been gutting for in this Division Four this season against the Bonduel, this Bonduel team who is, is, is excellent as well. And uh, it, we, we got a good one, a dandy coming up here uh, on Radio Plus. So appreciate you tuning in this evening. Still got a few minutes before the teams will come out and get their warm-up started. So let's take a time out. We come back, we're going to have our exclusive interview with Coach Morgan. Caught up with him a few minutes ago. And uh, he's, he's excited for this one, as you would expect. And uh, my goodness, the pit is getting full. And it's going to be standing room only here tonight. You can bet on that. Let's take a time out. Come back with more. Pre-game show continues after this. The Rosendale Brandon School District blends small school values with large school opportunities to inspire families, students, and staff to choose our schools. At Rosendale Brandon Schools, we strive to connect our families to what's happening in our schools. We put what's best for our students at the forefront of each decision. We attract and retain an amazing staff with a passion for teaching children, and we celebrate our families, students, and staff. Rosendale Brandon School District, the school district of choice. Go Spartans! 
Well, the youth sports, right? We support youth sports in all of our communities, sponsoring teams, booster clubs, and then really supporting the schools uh, with some PTO activities where we'll donate to the PTOs as they need. We help sponsor uh, a new playground for one of the schools in, in Fond du Lac. There's different things that we've done. And, and I, look, I, I look forward to our ability as we grow to be able to increase uh, that exposure and that opportunity for us to give back to the communities. Planning to build? Whether it's a new home, a remodel, or commercial project, you need a committed team that's dedicated to bringing your visions to reality. You need Pino. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to www.rapinno.com and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, build better for future generations. You dream it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops with most installed by next week and completed in just one day. And because we fabricate our countertops in-house, you can buy direct and save money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Back here with the pregame show and now talking with Chris Morgan and coach uh, thanks for a few minutes before this uh, regional final game yeah no problem thanks uh, for coming out and doing the game it's two years in a row now that this this path to state for you guys is locked and loaded with some of the best teams in the state tonight's no different um, what do you when you looked at Bonduel, uh what did you see from them that makes them so good ranked number five in the state yeah, they just got a lot of good basketball players. I mean, they're athletic. They've have uh, they have a lot of length. Uh, they have a nice mixture of some bigs inside, and they've got um, some athletic kids. They've got some kids that can shoot the ball. So in a way, they're a lot like us. I mean, they just have a nice mixture on their team, and they're fairly deep. You know, they're able to go eight, nine deep maybe uh, of decent athletes that they're bringing in off the bench. So um, yeah, we certainly have our work cut out for us tonight. You kind of mentioned it there with, with them looking similar to you. Balance, we talk about it all the time with, with your girls. And last night, five, almost six into double figures for you guys. What did you see from your team getting their postseason uh, run underway? Uh, kind of what you guys have done all year. Yeah, we just, um, you know, we got a lot of kids that can shoot the ball. And, and last night we hit some outside shots. Um, and that's why you can't key on any one of our, our players because we just have weapons. You know, a lot of teams have one or two kids maybe on the floor at all times that maybe is not a threat to shoot the ball from the outside. But you look at, you know, what we have for shooters. We've got some great shooters. But then, you know, even our bigs, you know, Calista Vandenberg can step out and shoot the three. And, and Ava Engel, who is kind of our other big, I guess, but she's more of a guard. And she shoots the three really well as well. I just wanted to touch on Ava. You know, she battled through some things late on in the season, um, but she is a, a crucial player for you uh, when you look at what you guys are able to do. Just can you highlight what, what the impact is that she has on your team? Yeah, she just she really understands the game. She's a kid that's got really good ball skills. You know, when we were younger, probably third, fourth grade, she was our point guard. Um, so she's got guard skills. Um so I, I think that's the biggest thing is she can do so many different things, whether it's inside, she's got good footwork around the basket, she can kind of play a pulse, but she can certainly shoot the three. Um, she's just a really versatile player. Last one for you here, Coach. Uh, if you can boil it down to one or two things that your girls need to do exceptionally well, best, you know, for, for, for your team to move on and play in another sectional yet again, what's that tonight? Uh, we have to bring energy, especially on the defensive end. We have to win those 50-50 balls. Um, so we just really have to outwork them. We cannot, we cannot let them play harder than we play. Um, and then secondly, I think we just got to take care of the basketball. Um, Bindwell does a pretty good job of getting his passing lanes. They're active with their hands. And uh, we can't be sloppy with the ball. That's one thing that worries me. We got to be solid with the ball and give ourselves a chance to, to shoot shots. It's starting to fill up in here, Coach. It's one of the best places in dirt to take in a high school basketball game. I think the atmosphere is going to be nuts tonight. Uh, good luck. Go get them. Thank you. Appreciate it. There you go. That's Coach Morgan. Appreciate a few minutes from him here pregame. Let's continue on after this. Let's take a timeout. Uh, got a good one here. Uh, number five in the state, Bonduel, here against the top-ranked Spartans. Uh, you're watching it on Radio Plus. Stay with us.
Mueller's Repair and Recovery is a proud sponsor of Laconia in their game today. Good luck, Spartans. Mueller's Repair and Recovery is a full-service automotive repair shop. They'll do engine and transmission swaps, brakes, oil changes, and more. Call 852-0103. That's 852-0103 for Mueller's Repair and Recovery. 104 South Main Street, Rosendale. Good luck, Laconia. Redeker Dairy Equipment has been taking care of the needs of area farmers for over 50 years. They're your one-stop shop for Delaval milking equipment. And Redeker Dairy Equipment sells and maintains every system from rotary parlors to robotic equipment. They'll deliver chemicals, dips, and supplies right to your farm. Redeker Dairy has an electrical department that offers residential, commercial, and industrial services. Good luck, Spartans, from Redeker Dairy Equipment in Brandon. Some great deals await at Brandon Meats this week. 8-ounce chopped sirloin for $1.99 each. The boneless Brandon-style ribs at $2.59 per pound. The garlic butter marinated chicken breast, $2.99 per pound. Round steak or Swiss steak, $4.99 per pound. And smoked Polish sausage, $2.99 per pound. Brandon Meats, open this week, Monday through Thursday, 7 to 5, Friday, 7 till 6, and Saturday, 7 till 3. Log on, brandonmeats.com. You dream it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops with most installed by next week and completed in just one day. And because we fabricate our countertops in-house, you can buy direct and save money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Planning a new building, whether it's commercial, ag, or residential, you need a building that will last. You need Pino. Our experienced design-build team will make your vision a reality. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to PinoBuildings.com and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, built better for future generations. Back here on the pregame show, glad to have you along. It's hard to even think down here on the court. I'm telling you, this atmosphere today is incredible. Between the Laconia Spartans and the Bonduel Bears, we got a good one. Bonduel finished the season, as we said, ranked number five in Division Four. Laconia's been ranked number one all season. Coast to coast, wire to wire, no one's unseated them as the top team in Division Four. And when you can go seven deep like they can, off the bench with Molly Duell and Finley Morgan, uh, there's a good reason why they're so tough to beat. But tonight, and you heard Coach Morgan kind of talk about it, with Bonduel, they're another team that goes deep. They can go about eight deep with, with players that they feel pretty good about, sometimes nine deep, and they got seven players that can score it. Maybe not as well as Laconia can, um, but they got some players who can score it. Ella Hishke, we mentioned her already, 12.2 points per game. Haley Zernike, uh averages 10.5 points per game. Haley Thompson with 10 points per game. That's three players that average double figures for the Bonduel Bears. But then you juxtapose that with the Laconia Spartans right behind me getting ready to roll, and they have, they have five players that average double figures. Tierney Madigan, Aubrey Leonard, Clista Vandenberg, and both Finley and Peyton Morgan average over 10 points per game. And Finley Morgan may be one to watch. Freshman continued to grow throughout the season, and she ended up being the fifth-ranked shooter in terms of the three-point shot in Division Four, She averages 43.1% from three. Something to watch here tonight as we continue on. Let's take a time out. We'll come back. I mean, the band's rolling. The fans are here. Bonduel, last one out of Bonduel. Turn off the lights. This is a great matchup we got here on Radio Plus. Stay with us here on RP Video Sports. I would say the best part about our relationship with Bristol Morgan is the fact that they they are local and they actually are there when we need them to be. Uh, they're very responsive and they do a great job for us. So we keep coming back. I mean, you need a lending partner that's going to, to be there when you need them. We've had a lot of growth over the last 15 years and specifically in the last five. Bristol Morgan has always been here to, to help us uh, find our way to that next level.
Some great deals await at Brandon Meats this week. Eight ounce chopped sirloin for $1.99 each. The boneless Brandon style ribs at $2.59 per pound. The garlic butter marinated chicken breast, $2.99 per pound. Round steak or Swiss steak, $4.99 per pound. And smoked Polish sausage, $2.99 per pound. Brandon Meats, open this week, Monday through Thursday, 7 to 5, Friday, 7 till 6, and Saturday, 7 till 3. Log on, BrandonMeats.com. Rediker Dairy Equipment has been taking care of the needs of area farmers for over 50 years. They're your one-stop shop for Delavale milking equipment. And Rediker Dairy Equipment sells and maintains every system from rotary parlors to robotic equipment. They'll deliver chemicals, dips, and supplies right to your farm. Rediker Dairy has an electrical department that offers residential, commercial, and industrial services. Good luck, Spartans, from Rediker Dairy Equipment in Brandon. The Rosendale Brandon School District lends small school values with large school opportunities to inspire families, students, and staff to choose our schools. At Rosendale Brandon Schools, we strive to connect our families to what's happening in our schools. We put what's best for our students at the forefront of each decision. We attract and retain an amazing staff with a passion for teaching children, and we celebrate our families, students, and staff. Rosendale Brandon School District, the school district of choice. Go Spartans! Planning to build? Whether it's a new home, remodel, or commercial project, you need a committed team that's dedicated to bringing your visions to reality. You need Pino. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to www.rapinno.com and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, build better for future generations. Back here for the pregame show. Jordan King with you here on Radio Plus. Thanks to our sponsors who made the uh, coverage of Laconia's Another Road to the Resh. And it uh, started last night. Hoping to continue on tonight for the Spartans. And appreciate our sponsors that help make this possible. Quest Interiors, as usual, on the scoreboard. TJ's Construction, Bristol Morgan Bank, Pino Construction and Building, Rosendale Brandon School District, Brandon Meats and Sausage, Mueller, Miller's Repair, and recovery and Redeker Dairy. Those are your sponsors here tonight. Appreciate them uh, as always for their their work. Let's get to our starters. You're going to hear the starters here in the uh, in the arena as they announce them. But we'll start with the starters for Bonduel, the visiting Bears. Number five is Ella Hishke. We mentioned her averages 12.2 points and five rebounds per game. Also, their leading assist player. Number 11 is Audrey Wire, and Wire on the season, 7.1 points, 5 rebounds for the Bears. Tatum Spirisky wears number 13, 4.5 points, 2.5 assists, and 2.5 rebounds per game. Haley Thompson, she averages 10 points and 3 boards on the season. And then Haley Zernike, uh, as we mentioned, 10.5 points, but she's also their leading rebounder, 7.2 point, er, rebounds per night. And starters for the Laconia Spartans this season. And it's been pretty good for Coach Morgan. He's been able to rely on this pretty much all year long. Number three is Ava Engel. Engel averages 8.6 points and 3.5 and rebounds per game. You heard her about her versatility from Coach Chris Morgan. Uh, also starting, Tierney Madigan, number 11. She's the leading scorer. 6.3 rebounds per game as well and uh, just about four assists this was a team that shares the basketball extremely well and uh, Tierney Madigan got some uh, got some offers to play at the next level as well Purdue Purdue Fort Wayne and Sacramento State no commitment for Tierney just yet number 12 is Callista Vandenberg she offers the post presence for the Spartans 10.3 points 8.6 boards per game and she's a she's a load to handle underneath and I, I'm really looking forward to Haley Zernike against Calista Vandiver, Vandenberg here tonight. Aubrey Leonard runs the show number 15 point guard uh, leads the uh, program in career assists 10 and a half rebounds four assists or excuse me 10 and a half points four assists and three rebounds per night for Aubrey Leonard and then Peyton Morgan rounds out the starting five. Peyton 10.3 points and four boards. And, and you heard with both of these teams, not only can they do it offensively, but both of these teams get it done rebounding the ball as well. Uh, so uh, it's a fascinating one to watch here tonight between uh, the Bears and the Spartans. 
Uh, we're going to keep it right here because we're going to attempt to send it down to our PA announcer. Hopefully we can gather some audio from down there, and uh, we'll do our best on that as they play the school song here for the Laconia Spartans. Just as we look at the bracket for this, uh, this regional, St. Mary Catholic and Crandon playing at the top, and Crandon maybe not a familiar foe for, uh, for the Spartan fans watching, tuning in at home, but certainly for the Bonduelle fans, Crandon is a, a, a name you'll recognize and a name that uh, over the, the, the course of the past couple of years, Bonduelle's ran, run into Crandon and uh, has kind of had taken their blows both ways for both of these programs. St. Mary Catholic, as I mentioned, the number one seed. Obviously, all sorts of uh, all sorts of uh, complaining, and, and and you know you have that every year. Um, but uh, I'll give credit to Coach Morgan and his girls. The, no complaining from them. They said this is the path they've given us. Let's go do it. Let's win it. Let's get back to the rest center, and that's been their attitude. Let's try to send it down to the PA announcer for evening, today's and introductions. And welcome to Laconia High School. Our guests in tonight's WIAA regional matchup are the Bonduelle Bears from the Central Wisconsin East Conference and your own Laconia Spartans. <laughs> Consistent are located on the balcony and restrooms are down the main hallway on your left. Please no food or drink in the hallway. Our sports medicine is provided by SSM. Laconia High School, Bondowell High School, and the WIAA require good sportsmanship at athletic-based sporting events. Attendance at interscholastic activities is a privilege with the expectation to, expect, to exhibit positive and respectful behavior. For the enjoyment and respect of all in attendance, your cooperation in demonstrating the high ideals of sportsmanship is expected and greatly appreciated. At this time, we invite you to rise, remove your caps, as we honor America for the playing of our national anthem. Tonight, the national anthem will be played by the Laconia Pep Band under the direction of Jonathan Tesh, conducted by senior drum major Bryn Siebert. And now, here are your starting lineups. First for the visiting Bears. A 5'10 senior, number five, Ella Ishki. A 6'10 junior, number 11, Aubrey Weyer. A 5'8 junior, number 13, Tatum Sporiski. A 5'4 senior, number 14, Haley Thompson. And a 5'10 senior, number 22, Haley Zernicki. The Bears are coached by Jerry Reinke and his staff. And now, 
the starting lineup for your own Laconia Spartans. A510 Junior, number three, Ava Engel. A59 Junior, number 11, Tierney Madigan. A511 Senior, number 12, Callista Vanderberg. A57 Junior, number 15, Aubrey Leonard. And A59 Junior, number 21, Peyton Morgan. The Spartans are coached by Chris Morgan and his staff. So there you go. Appreciate the uh, public address announcer allowing us to plant a microphone down there and there you go starters once again five Hishke 11 wire 13 Spariski 14 Thompson 22 Zernike for Laconia 3 Engel 11 Madigan 12 Vandenberg 15 Leonard 21 Morgan this is electric as electric can get here in the pit as it's called here in Rosendale beautiful here we go Tipping things off here between the number one and number five team in the state. Here's a shot fake for Aubrey Leonard, as uh, usually Laconia does win the tip, and they have here. Two-three zone look uh, for the Bonduel Bears to start things off. See how the Laconia Spartans handle it. There have been, they've faced zone a couple of times in the flyway in an early turnover. Steal here from Zernike. Most notably against WLA faced that zone, and they struggled against it a little bit. But they've, they've had some success against the zone in other games. Look, think back to that Springs game in the flyway as well. So they're prepared for the zone, no doubt. Laconia starts in man. They also have that 1-3-1 zone they can go to at any point. You know that's good. Here's Hishke. She's the leading scorer into Zernike. Kicks it out to Wire. Wire, dribble drive. Has it batted away by Engel. She's able to get it away to Sporiski. Here's a baseline drive by Hishke, and... That's batted away by Engel. Check that. I think Leonard last deflected that out. Doesn't matter. It stays with the Bears. Just under a minute into this one. And a nice inbound play worked. It ends up in the corner. Here's a three for Spariski. Missed it. A little bit short on that. Rebound down with, uh, excuse me, uh, Vandenberg. And here comes Aubrey Leonard. Engel. Madigan. Down to the corner with sharpshooting Peyton Morgan. And a skip pass quickly over to Aubrey Leonard as Vandenberg continues to work underneath. Morgan thought about the left wing three. Instead, finds Aubrey Leonard. Back out to Morgan. Wide open. Dead away. Three on the way. Missed it. Rebound. Long. Tapped out. And Leonard's got it. Aubrey Leonard back to the corner. Here's Ava Engel for the triple. This one's strong. Rebound on the weak side. A good block out by Spariski. And we stay scoreless in this one early. 16 and a half minutes to play in the first half. Near side with Thompson. Top of the key between the circles with Spariski. And a little patience here into the high post with Wire. And Sprisky's going to slow things down. That's deflected by Aubrey Leonard out top of the key. Hishke dives on the floor, able to get it. Goes off the hands here of Thompson. And Thompson is uh, in the backcourt here. And she has that batted away by Ava Engel. Engel taps it up ahead to Morgan. Morgan out to Leonard. Leonard, nice bounce pass to Peyton Morgan. Morgan missed. Offensive rebound. And no whistle. And... Little contact underneath, last touch by the Bears. It stays with Laconia. It was an offensive rebound by Vandenberg. She couldn't get it to go on the putback. Underneath inbound here for Aubrey Leonard. That was a sweet pass from Leonard. And Morgan just had that one affected and she wasn't able to get it to go. Morgan's got it here in the backcourt. Looks to the near side with Leonard and cuts through to the corner. What corner there is right now with the students. <laughs> Here's a Morgan three. Peyton Morgan gets things underway on the feed from Tierney Madigan. And it's 3-0 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. 15 and a half minutes to play. Morgan out top of the key. She's going to guard Thompson. Far side with Spariski. She's guarded by Engel. A screen here for Thompson. Thompson's free. And there's no one there. I think she saw, maybe she saw Coach Morgan with the, uh, the black quarter zip on over there I don't know that was there was no Bonduel bear standing over there and just threw it to the Laconia bench here's a little pressure here into the backcourt with Tierney Madigan 
Finds Aubrey Leonard. Shot fake there for Leonard. Kicks it out. Engel wants another three. Her second attempt. Her second attempt's good. And a quick timeout here for the Bears. 30 second timeout. And a 6 nothing lead for Laconia on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. And both Ava Engel and Peyton Morgan not deterred by missing their first three each. And they connect on the second one for both of them. So a good 50% start for both Ava Engel and Peyton Morgan. And Bonduel with an early timeout from Coach Reinke. Reinke, excuse me. And 15-11 left here in this first half. Hishke will key it in here, and Thompson will bring the ball up the floor for the Bears. The shooters you got to worry about if you're Laconia are Haley Thompson and Ella Hishke. Those are the two uh, that you got to worry about from three at least. And thought it was going to go to Hishke. Instead, it's Zernike. Kicks it out off the hands of Hishke. This is Wire. Wire. Nice backdoor cut from Zernike. Has it deflected. She's able to tightrope the uh, out-of-bounds line there and trapped in the corner and a foul as Ava Engel got away with a push. Thought she got away with a push, but instead uh, the bump is the first foul of the game. And uh, Bonduel's going to throw in from the side inbounds here. 14.45 to go first half. Here is Thompson. Between the circles, far side Zernike. She's going to trigger up a three from the left wing. Missed it. Rebound fought for, taken in by Vandenberg. Zernike is a 24% three-point shooter. Here's Peyton Morgan in transition. Three ball comes up short. Zernike collects the rebound. Leading uh, rebounder for Bonduel is number 22. And on the far side, this is Spiricki. Excuse me, Spriski. And off the screen, here goes Wire. Down the paint. Nice defense by Ava Engel. She goes straight up and down and impacts that shot. And the rebound is cleared for Laconia. Down to the corner with Morgan. Flashing free is Vandenberg. She spins once. Spins again. Up with the right hand and finishes. Callista Vandenberg had just two points last night, but she gets going early in this one. Certainly one of the emotional leaders for the Laconia Spartans. Callista Vandenberg, their lone senior. Here's Aubrey Leonard into a passing lane with a deflection. And she thought she tapped it off. Ella Hishke, not the case. Morgan the Finley Morgan and Molly Duell into the game for Coach Chris Morgan. And they'll replace Ava Engel and Aubrey Leonard. Here's Thompson, lobs a pass near side with Hishke. Hishke working against the always difficult defender, Molly Duell. To be able to bring a player off the bench like Molly Duell is incredible. Here is Zernike inside, nice move. She got good... Real estate down there, found some nice real estate, spun up and got the, uh, the hook shot to go, did Zernike. Underneath, here's Duell, nice pass on the bounce underneath, Vandenberg, and that's blocked underneath again. Wire got the block that time. And Morgan thought about the three, but another offensive rebound, and we talked about rebounding pregame. So far, so good for Laconia, they're winning that battle. Here's a bounce pass underneath to Duell. Finds Vandenberg at the high post who keys over a pass to Finley Morgan. Bounces it to Peyton Morgan. Into the high mid post, excuse me, and there's a kick as Madigan was looking for Vandenberg. And with 13 minutes to go here in the first half and an 8-2 lead, Laconia will throw an underneath inbounds play. Couple of three balls and Va a Vandenberg... Layup, that's what's gotten the eight points so far for the Spartans. Finley Morgan trapped, fires a skip pass down to Peyton Morgan. Here goes Tierney Madigan, that's her game, missed it a little bit strong, and the rebound down with Wire. Wire dribbles it off of her teammate's foot, and it goes over to Laconia. That's unfortunate there for Wire. Although, I don't think Coach Reinke agreed with that. I think he thought that went off of a Laconia foot last but it stays with the Spartans. A couple of chances to clear this possession for the Bears, and they haven't been able to do it. Here is Molly Duell into the paint. Turns around, kicks it out. Madigan just saves that one from going into the backcourt. It's going to step into this 2-3 zone. Good ball movement, good patience from the Spartans so far. Madigan's got it again. Finley Morgan flares out, so does Peyton. Peyton's got it on the left wing. Gets it to Madigan. Madigan blocked by Zernike. Nice play by the post player from the Bonduel Bears. Zernike now on the other side. 
Has that one go through her hands. Here's Peyton Morgan running the break. Gets to the high post. Shovels it back out. Finley Morgan three. First chance for her. A little bit strong. Offensive rebound again. This time it's Vandenberg. As Laconia continues their domination on the glass. Here's Duel. Duel down the paint. Euro step through and a travel. Lost control. And... A turnover here for Laconia, a rare one at that. They average less than 10 turnovers per game. Over the last couple of games, that number is even lower, but they're down to nine on the season as an average. 11.52 to go here in the first half. Thompson dribbles into the front court, looks to the far side, and onto the floor here is Ashlyn Curry, and here's a Zernike three. Zernike's got the three. She's got all five of them. And a 5 nothing spurt here for the Bears. Tightens things back up to three points. Turn over here. Madigan had it swatted away. It was Thompson who got the deflection. And the steal completed by Hishke. She's into the front court. Ella Hishke looks to the near side with Thompson. Top of the key. Curry is going to trigger up a three. Missed it short. Rebound down to the corner. Out of bounds. Laconia ball. Engel and Leonard back in for Laconia. And Josie Ant. Anvilink is in for her first action. She'll replace Wire for the Bears. Here is Duel into the front court. She is more than capable of taking that point guard spot when required. She's looking in to get into that short corner. High post short corner. That's where Coach Morgan seems to like to get it against this 2-3 zone and see if they're able to get that Coming up here, here is Finley Morgan on the right wing. Kicks it down to the right corner with Molly Duell. Duell inside to Morgan. Check that, Madigan. Here's a shot fake for Leonard. Shovels it out. Shot fake for Molly Duell. And good patience again for the Spartans. Here's Finley Morgan between the legs. Down to the corner with Duell into the high post. That's a tough pass. It's stolen again. Zernike once again with the steal. And into the front court, here comes Hishke. Over on the far side, Curry. Curry working against Finley Morgan. And Thompson's going to slow things down. Now crosses over against Aubrey Leonard. Curry, Hishke, poked away by Duell and a foul. Second team foul. As Molly Duell picks up the foul. And she's going to come out and be replaced by Peyton Morgan. And a side inbounds forthcoming here for Ella Hishke and the Bears. She gives it to Curry. And Thompson's got it once again with 10-15 to go first half. Zernike's already hit a three. Gets it over here to Curry. Trying to get the ball entered inside to Anvilink. She had a post up, and now they're going to work a little post game, get Zernike free. She's got it here at the high post. Kicked out. Hishke's first shot of the game comes up short, and the rebound collected by Aubrey Leonard. Long rebound, and Leonard's got it. One-hand pass snapped over to the near side. Finley Morgan. Head fake there for Finley, and she's got it back from... Leonard missed it, rebound fought for, last touch by Zernike. And once again, that'll go as a team rebound, offensive rebound. No one, will, no one will get the rebound for the Spartans. But that was Tierney Madigan was, her hustle forced that team rebound and another offensive board to save a possession for the Spartans. They haven't shot well so far, Laconia, but they have out hustled the Bears certainly. Here is Ava Engel, far side to... Aubrey Leonard, Leonard with a jab step. With a ball fake, saved by Thompson and wasn't able to get it to any of her teammates. That was a nice play by Haley Thompson. She's had a nice start to this game. Couple of deflections and a couple of steals as well for the Bears as Peyton Morgan will lob into Aubrey Leonard. Get it straight back, Peyton Morgan three. Looks good, it is good. Peyton Morgan has hit two of her first four threes and that's a little bit more like it for Peyton Morgan. Her, you know, 33%, most players would take 33%. I think Peyton Morgan is probably frustrated by that that mark considering what she did her first two years from, from deep. This is her worst three-point shooting season yet, and this is a little bit more like it for her. Here is Curry, left wide open straight away. Instead goes to Thompson, back to Curry. Far side now and working the ball underneath to Anvilink. Back out to Spirisky, and she traveled. Just drug the pivot foot did Tatum Spirisky and a couple of subs coming in here for the Bears. Hishke did not spend a lot of time on the bench, nor, nor did Audrey Wire. And 
The Laconia Spartans will have a chance to build on what is an 11-5 lead on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Far side with Madigan. Flashing through is Ava Engel. Not able to get her the ball. Madigan's got it now at the high post. She lost it again. Here's Curry. Out in transition. Working on Finley Morgan. Goes straight up. Does Morgan. Rebound on the miss. Is tied up. And it'll stay with Bonduel. Good job to fight for that rebound for Spirisky. She followed the shot from Curry. So underneath inbounds here, Hishke will throw it in. She's still scoreless. The leading scorer on the season for Bonduel is getting the best shot from the Laconia defense. Here's Curry. They're letting her free from three if she wants it. She doesn't. Left the first attempt from three short. She's got it again. Curry steps into a three this time. This one missed. And a rebounding foul is the first one of the game, and it's going to go on Josie Anvilink. Didn't see that one. A little, I was looking at Curry shooting the shot, and as I looked up, there was a Spartan laying on the floor, and they got Anvilink uh, for a foul. Just the first team foul, first personal for Anvilink, and Laconia, once again, other than five points surrendered to Haley Zernike, who is now on the bench right now for... The Bonduel Bears, they have held Bonduel. They've done a nice job defensively. Here's Ava Engel into the high post. Kicks it out, Peyton Morgan, jab step. Down underneath, gets the ball to Vandenberg. Straight back out to Engel, and good ball movement this time from the Spartans. A nice deflection, though, from Bonduel. Kind of stunts the possession a little bit. Here is Peyton Morgan from deep. This one comes up well short, and the rebound down with Hischke. Outlet pass here to Spirisky. She looks across the court to Wire. Finds Curry in the short corner. This one is strong. Missed. And a rebound down with Peyton Morgan. Morgan has Leonard up ahead of her. She wants to push pace. Finds Leonard in the corner. Down underneath to Vandenberg, who is running the floor. And last off, Callista Vandenberg. So a little bit sloppy from the Laconia Spartans last couple of minutes as they get Haley Thompson back on for Bonduel. Bonduel still looking for their first bucket, not scored by Zernike. Seven and a half minutes and counting down here in the first half. It's been a good one so far, and Haley Thompson is blocked from behind from Peyton Morgan. Morgan chasing around the top of a screen and was able to block the first three-point attempt from Haley Thompson, one of the best three-point shooters on this Bonduel team. Backdoor cut for Haley Moore, uh, Thompson, excuse me. Instead, it comes out here to Wire. Wire bounces out to Hishke, who will reset here for Bonduel. Uses a screen and looks to the far side with Wire. Wire drives, middle of the paint, steps through, up and under, no good. Rebound down with Callista Vandenberg. Engel's got it into the front court with Finley Morgan. Engel's got it back. Finley Morgan hasn't hit a three yet. She is a 43% three point shooter, top five in Division Four. Down into the corner with Peyton Morgan. Between the circles, Ava Engel. Morgan down to the corner. Here's a Leonard three keyed up. She's got it. Aubrey Leonard hits the triple. And 12 of the first 14 points have been scored from deep for the Laconia Spartans. As a team, they shoot it 33.7% from three. Here's a steal. It's Aubrey Leonard getting a deflection. Gets it to Peyton Morgan. Morgan up ahead to Finley Morgan. Nice hesitation by Finley Morgan, and the freshman's caught a little off balance, and the bounce pass is stolen by Haley Thompson. Thompson the other way for Bonduel. Far side with Wire. Flashing free is Hishke. Crosses once, and far side with Spirisky. And here's a three ball. Attempt straight away. Missed. That was Juliana Jacobs, and an offensive rebound for Spirisky. Has, that's the first time Laconia has kind of fallen asleep on the defensive glass. Hishke's really... Having to deal with Aubrey Leonard here on the defensive side of the floor. Another missed jump shot, this time from Wire. Rebound with Finley Morgan. Finley, middle of the paint, kicks it back out to Aubrey Leonard. Five and a half minutes to play first half. Here is Finley Morgan. Skip pass to Peyton. Underneath to the short corner, Calista Vandenberg spins once, spins twice, and kicks it out. Here is Finley Morgan down the lane. Floater up, missed it strong. Rebound down with Wire. She's been excellent on the glass for the Bears early on. 14-5 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Five minutes to go in this first half. It has been a defensive masterclass so far for the Laconia Spartans. Here's another three for Jacobs. 
This time they were letting Jacobs free, and the rebound is tipped out by Peyton Morgan to Finley Morgan. Finley's got it into the front court. Aubrey Leonard back to Morgan. Leonard thought about a three. Instead, it's going to be a 30-second timeout for Coach Chris Morgan. So six points for Peyton Morgan, three apiece for Ava Engel, Aubrey Leonard, and two for Callista Vandenberg for the Laconia Spartans. And uh, just a 30-second timeout will keep it here. Fast-paced first half. Uh, have not had many opportunities here to, uh, to catch our breath, but nine-point lead for the Spartans. And usually if you got under five minutes left, I mean, Laconia on the season averages 73 points per game. So 14 points on the scoreboard would usually be concerning for Laconia, but the way they've been able to defend so far in this one has given them an opportunity to not only have a lead, but have a, a somewhat comfortable lead right now in this one with a nine-point advantage on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Just three fouls in what has been a, a really pleasurable first half. Nice watch here so far. Hope you're enjoying it here on Radio Plus. If you couldn't make the trip, if you were here, you'd have, to, you'd have to be standing. I'll tell you that much. Here's another turnover. It was Madigan again. She's had a couple of them stripped out of her hands there in the high post. Underneath here's Zernike. Steps through. Kicks it out. Thompson thought about the three. She's got to deal with the length of Peyton Morgan, those long arms. And she hasn't been able to get off a three yet. Her one three-point three attempt was blocked. Here's a three for Thompson. Just as I say it, she used a Skariski, Spariski, excuse me, screen. And Haley Thompson who shoots it at a 35% clip, the best three-point shooter on this team, and she's finally got her first bucket. Now, she only averages 10 points per game. I say only. That's still a healthy mark. But she shoots it from three. She's, you've got a feeling she's, they're going to have to get her going against Peyton Morgan. Morgan wants to respond. Missed it. A little bit off to the left, and the rebound down with Zernike. Six-point contest under four minutes to play first half. Hershke, Hishke, excuse me, in the backcourt, spins, past duel, missed it, short, got her own rebound, flips it up to Zernike, hook shot, good, off the soft rims here at the pit, and it curls in for Zernike, she's got seven. Back down to a four-point contest. Uh, the second 5 nothing. Uh, I guess if you want to call a 5 nothing run a run, second time that the uh, Bonduel Bears have scored five straight against Laconia. Here goes... Tierney Madigan, she's fouled. She'll go to the free throw line. First trip to the line we'll see for either team tonight. And trying to see who they got on the foul. Number 14, Haley Thompson picks it up. And Madigan to the free throw line. Madigan is a 52% free throw shooter. And in close games, I was going to mention this pregame. In close games, you got to be able to make some free throws at some point in a, a stretch to make a, a trip to state. And the Laconia Spartans, if there is one Achilles heel for them, one out of two for Madigan, that's about her season average. you got to be able to make free throws, and that's something that Bonduel does. 68.8, 69% from, as a team from the free throw line is the best mark I've seen in high school in some time. I mean, that's not exaggeration. I... I've looked at my fair share of, of team statistics, and 69% is right up there. Turnover for the Bears will give the Spartans a chance to extend what is right now a five-point lead on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Peyton Morgan's got it now. Can the, can the Spartans find something interior here against a tough Bonduel team? And this defense has been challenging for the Laconia Spartans to try to crack the code. They've... Had pretty much everything come from three so far. 12 of their 15. Here goes Molly Duell. Duel. Bounce pass inside, and it's kicked by Zernike. Another underneath inbounds coming for the Spartans, and Leonard, along with Finley Morgan, back onto the floor for oh, Coach Morgan. Morgan Duel and Peyton Morgan. Back out. And Leonard looks into Madigan. Tierney looks to the near side with Engel. Engel, nice ball fake, gets herself free on the left wing. This one misses strong from Ava Engel. And hishke has got it into the front court. Far side with Thompson. Her ch second chance for a three. She's got it! Three. Haley Thompson has six. And now three threes have been made by Bonduel as they're within two 
with the Laconia Spartans. This one's strong from Finley Morgan. And a chance here for Bonduel to tie or take the lead. On the far side was Spirisky. Flashing to the high post that time was Anvilink. And another loose pass, this time from Hishke. We'll turn it back over to the Spartans. Tierney Madigan's going to take a seat for Peyton Morgan. 15-13 with 2.04 to go. On the Quest Interior scoreboard, here is Aubrey Leonard. Leonard, hesitation dribble, kicks it out to Peyton Morgan. Peyton, around the screen, thought about the three. And Finley Morgan's got it now. Bonduel just does a nice job on the dribble drive to force you away from the hoop. Here's a fadeaway three from Aubrey. Leonard didn't hit anything. And the rebound cleared from Bonduel. Here comes Hishke again. Here's Zernike. She wants her second three for the lead. Missed it. And a good block out from Ava Engel. No whistle there as she was fighting off Anvilink. Here's Leonard. Kicks it out. Finley Morgan uses a shot fake. Engel's got it again. Here's Peyton Morgan with the rip through. And Vandenberg, 25 feet away from the hoop. Not where they want her to catch the ball. But uh, post touches have been hard to come by for the Spartans so far tonight. Here is Tierney, or excuse me, Calista Vandenberg. She's hacked, counted, and the foul. And Calista Vandenberg lets out a yell. And she's finally got it going inside. Her second bucket of the uh, evening. And she goes to the charity strike. From the line so far this season, Vandenberg 63%. As a team, Laconia just down at 60%. But uh, you know, all the fanfare that I just made about Bonduel and their free throw shooting, they haven't shot one yet tonight, so that doesn't really matter much if you can't get to the free throw line for sure. And that's what they'll want to do coming up here last minute of this first half and into the second half. I can just about guarantee it. Here is Zernike. Gets it over here to Anvilink. Again, Laconia going to try to dare her to shoot. Kicks it out to Spirisky. 50 seconds to go in the first half. Spirisky, far side wire down to Zernike. Anvilink's got it again. To the corner with Wire. Wire working on Madigan. Underneath here, Anvilink has it. Kicked out. Thompson wide open. Three on the way. Missed this one. Short. Saved. And it was out of bounds. And thankfully so from a Spartan perspective as that was saved straight back to a Bonduel player with no one between her and the hoop. So Vandenberg had a toe on the line, and that was a good thing if you're a Spartan fan. Last 30 seconds of this first half, Wire gets the ball into Anvilink. Anvilink back to Wire. Wire guarded by Madigan, who fights through a screen from Zernike, and Spirisky has it far side. Top of the key with Thompson. Thompson crosses, gets the ball to the corner. And good patience. They want the last shot, does Bonduel. Here is Wire. Wire rolling to the hoop, trying to get the ball to Sprisky. Instead, it comes here to Zernike. Zernike down the right side, blocked by Callista Vandenberg. Three-quarter court shot on the way. Oh, it almost went for Finley Morgan. That would have been a cherry on the icing for the, uh, for the uh, Spartans, but it doesn't go. And both sets of fans give their teams a standing ovation off the floor. Halftime score here in Rosendale is 17-13 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Well, if you came here looking for offense, I hope you stuck around because it's good. we still got a heck of a game and maybe the offenses will get it figured out here in the second half. Let's take a timeout uh, here on Radio Plus. The halftime score is 17-13, and we're back with some halftime stats and, and uh, facts and figures when we come back. Stay with us. You dream it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops with most installed by next week and completed in just one day. And because we fabricate our countertops in-house, you can buy direct and save money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Being a smaller organization, I think, gives us such an advantage to be able to adapt to what our 
customers need, especially at the small business level. They give us feedback on what's important to them and what products and services they need and are important and, and they value. And we can make adjustments. We can hear our customers as to what they need and we can make adjustments uh, relatively quickly. I think they see that, they see our flexibility and they understand this is an organization that wants to work with us. They're not just gonna do it their way, they're actually listening and, and hearing what we need. Go ahead, let the daydreams of spring begin. Shop the Auto Show sales event at Holiday. See all that's new, get more Mazda for your money, more for your trade, and drive inspired on the road trips ahead in a new all-wheel drive Mazda. Lock in 0% five-year financing now on select Mazda CX-30 and CX-50 models. Come be our guest and experience the award-winning care at Wisconsin's number one. Find yours and discover the difference at Holiday Mazda Fond du Lac. It's worth the trip. Mueller's Repair and Recovery is a proud sponsor of Laconia in their game today. Good luck, Spartans! Mueller's Repair and Recovery is a full-service automotive repair shop. They'll do engine and transmission swaps, brakes, oil changes, and more. Call 852-0103. That's 852-0103 for Mueller's Repair and Recovery. 104 South Main Street, Rosendale. Good luck, Laconia! What can I do for you, man? You know what? Really craving nacho fries. You guys got any of those? Ads are working. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. What ads? Well, like all the like all the pictures I put over here in your in your bedroom. <laughs> oh, I put that there. See you later, man. The Raidman family has been quarrying and producing natural stone products for over 50 years. Is your driveway in need of repair? Here at Raidman's, our crust stone division provides our customer with stone needed for maintaining your gravel driveway. Our quarry stone division provides landscape stones such as stepping stones and retaining wall stone for your outdoor living areas. We also offer natural thin and full veneer stone for interior applications such as fireplaces or outdoor applications to combine with or replace your siding or brick. Raidman Stone and Landscape Company where we have the materials to do the best work on earth. Back here, halftime of this one, a regional final here between the Laconia Spartans and the Bonduel Bears. And again, a regional plaque is on the line here uh, between these two teams who are both ranked top five in the state. I mean, this could have very well in, in a different year, in a different seating, in a different region, this could have been a state matchup. I mean, there's no doubt about it. 17-13, to 13, Laconia leads it here at home. Before we get you to some, uh, some scores in this one, uh, just our other uh, Radio Plus games tonight. Uh, Wapan, if you're curious, up by about 15 right now. And uh, Oakfield, really, uh, they, they need a big second half. They're down by 20 at halftime, 40 to 20 uh, against Oshkosh Lourdes uh, up in, uh, in Oshkosh. So those are a couple of other games. If you're a Flyway fan, WLA's up by about four right now, taking on Random Lake as they try to, to win a regional as well. So a lot of good basketball going on in the area. I know uh, Amro's still still going in the flyway as well there at Xavier tonight. Uh, in, in terms of the central Wisconsin, if you're a Bonduel fan, Wittenberg, uh, uh, Wittenberg Burnhamwood is still uh, alive. They're taking on Menominee uh, tonight, Menominee Indian uh, this evening. So a lot of local teams still in it. Uh, but after tonight, yeah, you're down to your last 32 in each division. And uh, that's what you got to do to be able to lift one of the regional plaques. Scoring this evening, only two players scored. For the Bonduel Bears, they were Haley Zernike, who had seven, and then six on two three-pointers for Haley Thompson. That's the 13 points that Bonduel scored in this first half. A little bit more balance. They got a little bit more out of uh, uh, Coach Morgan's uh, squad. Four points for Calista Vandenberg. Three points apiece for both Aubrey Leonard and Ava Engel. Six for Peyton Morgan, and just one point here at halftime for Tierney Madigan. That's something that's a little bit out of the, the ordinary. I sh shouldn't say a little bit. That's a lot out of the ordinary for Laconia. Madigan averaging north of 14 points per game. Uh, there was a point in this season where they averaged about 15. Uh, just saw a, a comment down there. Uh, St. Mary Catholic up 30-17 to 17 over Crandon at halftime. Appreciate that. Uh, jumping in the comments. Uh, thank you for that. Um, and that's who the winner of this team would play, or this game would play. 
And uh, what's your reward if you win this and St. Mary Catholic, if they're able to hold serve there, uh, your reward is playing the number one seed and the number three team in the final coaches poll. This sectional is just absolutely chocked full of uh, top-ranked teams in this division. And, uh, again, that's a whole different political discussion on, uh, on how these, these things get sorted out and, and stretched out. But, anyways, there you go. 17-13 to 13 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Can the Laconia Spartans get something going inside? They had two buckets uh, from uh, Calista Vandenberg. Other than that, they have not scored a, a two-point field goal yet tonight. One free throw from Tierney Madigan. They're one for three from the line. And uh, four three-pointers. And the, the three is currently what has the, uh, the Laconia Spartans in the lead. But, you know, the old adage, live by, live by it, die by it. We'll, we'll see if, uh, if the Laconia Spartans can continue to, to shoot the three here in the second half. I'll, I will content, you know, I'll, I'll admit, at least on the defensive side, if you're a Laconia fan, uh, you've done a nice job as well uh, holding the Bonduel Bears to, to 13 points. But I think if you talk to both coaches, uh, this is probably a little bit more of a Bonduel type of st- style of game, right? The lower scoring, uh, the grind it out, the long possessions, make Laconia be patient. I think that's maybe a little bit more leaning towards how Bonduel wants to play this game, maybe perhaps than Laconia does. But anyways, we'll see when we come up here in the second half. Let's take a timeout. When we come back, we'll have second half of action here in this regional final between the Spartans and the Bears. That comes up after this on RP Video Sports. The Rosendale Brandon School District blends small school values with large school opportunities to inspire families, students, and staff to choose our schools. At Rosendale Brandon Schools, we strive to connect our families to what's happening in our schools. We put what's best for our students at the forefront of each decision. We attract and retain an amazing staff with a passion for teaching children, and we celebrate our families, students, and staff. Rosendale Brandon School District, the school district of choice. Go Spartans! the youth sports right we support youth sports in all of our communities sponsoring teams booster clubs and then really supporting the schools uh, with some pto activities where we'll donate to the ptos as they need we help sponsor uh, a new playground for one of the schools in in fond du lac there's different things that we've done and and i look I, i look forward to our ability as we grow to be able to increase uh that exposure and that opportunity for us to give back to the communities Planning to build? Whether it's a new home, remodel, or commercial project, you need a committed team that's dedicated to bringing your visions to reality. You need Pino. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to www.rapinno.com and you'll learn about the Pino difference. Pino, build better for future generations. You dream it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops with most installed by next week and completed in just one day. And because we fabricate our countertops in-house, you can buy direct and save money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Mueller's Repair and Recovery is a proud sponsor of Laconia in their game today. Good luck, Spartans! Mueller's Repair and Recovery is a full-service automotive repair shop. They'll do engine and transmission swaps, brakes, oil changes, and more. Call 852-0103. That's 852-0103 for Mueller's Repair and Recovery. 104 South Main Street, Rosendale. Good luck, Laconia! Well, let's get ready to roll here at the pit. It will be Laconia basketball coming out of the halftime locker room here and a chance to build on what is a four-point lead here at halftime. By the way, shout out. I'm sure we got plenty of Bonduel Bear fans joining us on the live stream as well, but shout out to the Bonduel fans. My goodness, making the hour and 20-ish minute drive. That's what Matt, uh, that's what... Uh, the, uh, the iPhone map told me uh, to get from Bonduel High School right here to the pit. And uh, good job to them. Here is Tierney Madigan down the lane, and she's got an and one. Well, 
we wondered at halftime, can the Spartans get it going inside? How about that? Tip of the hat there to Coach Morgan and what he drew up coming out of halftime, and Madigan's got the and one. And it's a 20 to 13, seven point lead on the Quest Interior scoreboard. Less than 10 seconds into this second half and there's a little bit of a flag planted here in terms of the momentum of this second half early for the, the Laconia girls team here. Far side with Spariski. She's working against Engel. Get Hishke free and Hishke jumper missed. Rebound collected by Callista Vandenberg. She wraps a pass back around to Aubrey Leonard and it's cleared for the Spartans. Leonard into the front court. She's so smooth with the basketball, Aubrey Leonard. She gets to the right side, going to fire up a three. Oh, Aubrey Leonard. If she's hitting that shot, she's almost unguardable. And it's a 10-point lead for the Spartans, 23-13. Here is Spariski. Because Leonard can drive it past you if you get too close. But she's able to hit a shot where she dribbles into a three. Oh, man. Here on the near side, this is Thompson. Haley Thompson finds Zernike, who goes to the far side with Spariski. Into the high post, trying to get the ball to wire. Instead, dribble drive for Spariski. And once again, Leonard hounding Thompson underneath. Here's Zernike. Up and under move. Bond going against Vandenberg. And Haley Zernike is up to nine points. And she is the closest of any of these players on the floor to hitting double figures. Here's Tierney Madigan. Finds Engel, cutting through is Morgan. Leonard's got it now. Finds Peyton Morgan, who just kind of found a soft spot in that zone. Wasn't able to get the jumper to go from about six feet. And Wire finds Spariski, who passes it to Hishke. And not going to find Hishke on that pass. So another turnover for the Bears. 23-15, 16-08 to go in the game. Laconia as Leonard into the front court. Engel on the left wing. Thought about the three, instead it's back over to Leonard. Trying to get the ball into Vandenberg. Vandenberg working against Zernike. Gets the ball to the middle of the floor, and that's a, and a roll out. Thought that one was gonna curl in. Here is Peyton Morgan, if Morgan caught that clean, I think that was gonna be a three ball. But another offensive rebound, which has been a story here tonight for Laconia. Morgan's got it in the corner. Back out to Engel. And Peyton Morgan once again. Here's Leonard, down the paint, kicks it to the corner. Engel, corner three, on the way, rattles around, no good. And had a strong rebound on the weak side from Haley Thompson. Thompson's into the front court, surveys the floor, gets the ball to Hishke. Hishke is still yet to score, the leading scorer. Here's another three from Thompson, this one comes up short. And when Peyton Morgan's been contesting Thompson, it's just been a little bit different than, than other players for Laconia trying to Hang with the top three-point shooter from the Bears. Here's a Peyton Morgan three, missed. Offensive rebound again. Vandenberg throws it into the backcourt. Saved by Aubrey Leonard. Nice hustle, Aubrey Leonard. Here's Ava Engel down to the corner with Madigan. And Leonard, who just saved the possession for the Spartans, wraps the pass back around. Calista Vandenberg's going to try a triple. She's got a triple. And Vandenberg lets out another yell, and she is into this one. Like I said, she's the emotional leader for this team, and she's up to seven points. Lead is 11, largest it's been all night for the Spartans. Wire's got it top of the key. Dribble drive against Madigan, down to the corner. It's a two ball, long two, and an offensive rebound here for Zernike. Kicks it out to Thompson. Wire's got it in the corner. Try to get the ball into Zernike. No, she's gonna dribble drive. Hook shot, no good. Tapped out by Engel. Stays with Bonduel. Possession Sub coming in here about four minutes into this second half for Coach Morgan. It's the same substitute he, substitution he usually starts every half with, which is Finley Morgan and Molly Duell replacing Aubrey Leonard and Ava Engel. Down in the corner with Hishke. She's going to try a step back triple. She buried it. Ella Hishke, welcome to the score sheet. Her first bucket of the night is a step back triple, and it's back down to an eight-point contest. Madigan looks to the corner with Morgan. Back out to Tierney Madigan. Molly Duell's got it on the dribble drive. Shot fake for Peyton Morgan. And on the near side, once again, Madigan out to Morgan. Triple on the way. This one misses, goes over the backboard. Now, 
Laconia has made more than 200 threes this year. Bonduel's made 118 of them coming into the game, so add a few to that. But this, it's not like the Spartans are doing something unusual when making all these threes. It's just unusual to see the three be pretty much the only uh, route of offense. And here's a travel as Finley Morgan did a nice job defensively, kind of the pulled out the chair, so to speak, from Tatum Spirisky. But Laconia, usually a little bit more balanced than what they've been so far tonight. Here is Tierney Madigan. Madigan down to the corner, Finley Morgan. She has not scored yet. Morgan into the middle of the paint. Ball's at her feet. Jump ball, no. Here, batted around. Duels got it. Back out to Peyton Morgan. Timeout, Coach Chris Morgan. Nice hustle there from Molly Duel to save a possession. And just a 30-second timeout with 13 minutes and 11 seconds left. Let's take quick 30 with them back after this. Redeker Dairy Equipment has been taking care of the needs of area farmers for over 50 years. They're your one-stop shop for Delavale milking equipment. And Redeker Dairy Equipment sells and maintains every system from rotary parlors to robotic equipment. They'll deliver chemicals, dips, and supplies right to your farm. Rudiger Dairy has an electrical department that offers residential, commercial, and industrial services. Good luck, Spartans, from Rudiger Dairy Equipment in Brandon. Back here at the pit, and it is rocking. You really can't tell, and again, this is another testament to Bonduelle's fans, but you, you almost can't tell who's making a cheer right below us in the stands. It's an awesome atmosphere, one that this game deserves, no doubt. Here's Peyton Morgan underneath to tier, uh, Vandenberg. Vandenberg finds a cutting Molly Duell. And Molly Duell's first points of the night come as she flashes through the paint and finishes on the right side. Back to a 10-point Spartan lead. On the near side, Spirisky between the circles, wire. Back to Spirisky, trying to get Hishke underneath, working against the smaller Molly Duell. On the far side, Haley Thompson. Thompson's the three-point shooter. Hishke's the other that you got to worry about if you're playing against Bonduel. Thompson's got it right now. Near side with Spirisky. Flashing to the top of the key is Wire. Wire tries the right side. Again, working against Callista Vandenberg. Vandenberg now pops out, guarding uh, Zernike. Excuse me. And Wire's got it again. Zernike reposts underneath and a foul by Callista Vandenberg. So Zernike heads to the free throw line where she shoots it at a 72% clip. Of their top six players, only two don't shoot at 70%. That's because they shoot at 80 plus percent. <laughs> First free throw is good for Haley Zernike. I've just I've never seen it before. The 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 way that this team shoots free throws is incredible. And a couple of substitutions going to come in here as they kicked some foreign substance off the floor down there. Don't know if that's a popcorn kernel or what, but get that out of the way. And Calista Vandenberg's going to take a seat after she picked up the foul. Second free throw missed. That's a collector's item watching the Bonduel Bears. Here is Peyton Morgan in the corner. Got it from Madigan. Top of the key, Ava Engel. Thinking about a three. She's going to trigger it up. This misses short. Offensive rebound, Tierney Madigan. Madigan. Goes up through the contact and just missed the and one there. And Madigan goes to the free throw line for the third time tonight. She's two for three. Haley Thompson picks up the foul for the Bears. That's her second foul. First free throw up and good for Tierney Madigan. And again... This is why I always say you throw out, in, in, in some ways you have to throw out statistics. Now, they, you are who you are, but sometimes gamers just game, and I think Tierney Madigan is a gamer. She's four for her first five from the free throw line, despite being just a 50% free throw shooter. And matching their largest lead of the night is the Spartans, 30-19 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. Spirisky between the circles, working on Finley Morgan. That's deflected from Madigan. It goes straight to Haley Thompson. A couple of switches. Now Thompson's got Finley Morgan on her. Down to the corner with Spirisky. Surveys. Kicks it back out. And Bonduel's going to stay patient. On the right side with Thompson. Down to the corner with Spirisky. Trying to get the ball on the pass down underneath to Zernike. And it's kicked away by the Spartans. 
Don't let the scoreboard fool you. This has been a well-played game. Don't get me wrong. There's been some sloppy play like you get in any game, but this has not been barn ball by any means. It's been a, a well-played game. This is just high-level defense. Down the lane to Zernike with the basketball now on the right side. Here's another three for Hishke. This one misses. Rebound tipped up, and another possession coming here after Anvilink got the offensive board. She got matched up with Finley Morgan on a switch, and she used her size advantage to earn another possession for Bonduel. She's got it now on the right wing. Top of the key with Sprisky. Near side with Thompson. Thompson's going to use that Sprisky screen again, but this time Laconia switched it and did it well. Here is Thompson in the corner. Thought about the three a couple of times. Crosses over, working on Madigan. And Sprisky once again. And Valink, Thompson. Laconia under the screen. Thompson three. Missed it short. And didn't hit anything there. And that was... A nice possession for Laconia on the defensive side. It was a long one, and they did a nice job to uh, keep it empty for the Bears. Got a timeout here for Bonduel. It's full. Let's take it with them. We're back after this on Radio Plus. Stay with us. Some great deals await at Brandon Meats this week. Eight ounce chopped sirloin for $1.99 each. The boneless Brandon style ribs at $2.59 per pound. The garlic butter marinated chicken breast, $2.99 per pound. Round steak or Swiss steak, $4.99 per pound. And smoked Polish sausage, $2.99 per pound. Brandon Meats, open this week, Monday through Thursday, 7 to 5, Friday, 7 till 6, and Saturday, 7 till 3. Log on, brandonmeats.com. Back at the pit, Jordan King with you here. 30 to 19, the Spartans have outscored the Bears 13 to six here in this second half so far to extend their lead to 11 points on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. 10 minutes and 30 seconds left in this one till we crown a regional champ. And again, this, it, if this feels like a matchup that, that is a sectional, or a state type of level matchup. But uh, here we are in the regional round, much like last year when Laconia had to play a, a top 10 ranked Sheboygan Lutheran team in the regional final, able to do that, and then knock off a couple of other highly ranked teams in the Prairie School and WLA to get to state. Same, same type of path here for the Spartans. And Aubrey Leonard's got it now, and they look up to the test. There's no doubt about it with their first game in... Yeah, three quarters here. Here is Leonard, far side with Finley Morgan. Ten minutes to go. Here's Ava Engel. Engel so far tonight has been relatively quiet. She's got three, and she's got the ball in the corner now. Thought about the three, shot fake. Gets it out to Finley Morgan. Morgan hasn't scored yet. Finley a little bit strong. Offensive rebound, Madigan. Fights through a couple of bears, and the hook shot's good. Tierney Madigan. With a monstrous offensive rebound, she's up to eight. And the offensive glass, we told you the battle on the boards was going to impact this game in some way. Here's a Zernike three. The other way, Zernike's got her second triple of the night. She's the first player from either team into double figures. She's got 11. Check that 12 for Zernike. And Ava Engel's got the ball now. But uh, getting back to that rebounding point, the Spartans have been the better team on the glass tonight. I'm not sure what that number is going to look like when everything's all said and done, but they have timely rebounds and scoring off those second chance points has been big. Here's a Morgan three to respond. Peyton Morgan responds right back with her third three of the night. She's up to nine points, and it's back out to a 13-point lead, 35-22 on the Quest Interiors scoreboard. zernike has got it. Ava Engel fighting through. Uh, screen there, and Anvilink is underneath trying to post up Tierney Madigan. Instead, they get the ball to Hishke, who's had a quiet night so far. She's got to respect her as a scorer, that's for sure. Thompson uses the screen. Laconia's done a little bit better of a job fighting through those Thompson screens where can't go underneath him. Got to fight through over the top against such a good shooter. Here is Spirisky. Thompson around Morgan. Peyton Morgan forces the ball over here to Anvilink. 
And Sprisky Thompson, eight minutes to go here. And if nothing else, Laconia is forcing long possessions with not much time. I mean, short time if you're down by 13 points, that's for sure. And a turnover at the end of it. And Laconia is coming back the other way. Down to the corner, Aubrey Leonard's got it. On the wing with Finley Morgan, Engel, Morgan, Leonard. Down underneath to a cutting Peyton Morgan. Peyton back out to Aubrey Leonard. Leonard spins, working against Thompson. Gets the ball back out to Finley Morgan. Aubrey Leonard for three, comes up short. Rebound, down with Zern Zernike. And a good job that time from Zernike to sky for the board as Ava Engel was in the vicinity, just seeing what was going on. Trying to maybe deflect that ball and earn another possession. Here's Thompson. Crosses over. Long bounce pass, but it got to its intended target. Here's a Hishke three. Missed it. Hishke's just been off tonight a little bit. Here goes Tierney Madigan down the lane. Coast to coast for Tierney Madigan. It's been a quiet night, but she's already up to 10. Yeah, and I tell you, sometimes you just think Tierney Madigan just doesn't got it going. And then you look down at your score sheet, and she's in double figures. That's the same thing tonight. Here's a timeout for Bonduel. They're going to take it full. We're going to take it with them. We're back in 30 seconds on Radio Plus. You dream it, we'll fabricate it. At Quest Interiors, we fabricate one-of-a-kind countertops with most installed by next week and completed in just one day. And because we fabricate our countertops in-house, you can buy direct and save money. Visit our showrooms today in Oshkosh and Fond du Lac to start your transformation. Quest Interiors, exceptional style, exceptional savings. Back here at the pit, glad to have you along. On the Quest Interiors scoreboard, 37-22, 15-point lead for Laconia. And, uh, yeah, just finishing up that thought from before the timeout, Tierney Madigan uh, has gotten it rolling here. And she's struggled from three the last couple of games in conference play. And you see that tonight. She hasn't forced up any shots. And that's, that's what you expect out of a, a, a veteran team and a veteran player like Tierney Madigan. And I know they're just juniors. And sometimes you have a team full of juniors and you say, ah, they're pretty inexperienced. Well, They've played in two state championships, all of these juniors have. And so has, Tier, or so has Calista Vandenberg. So other than Finley Morgan, who I don't know if you can tell by the last name, she's, she's definitely prepped for a stage like this. <laughs> uh, other than her, everyone's got two years of state experience on this team, and you can see it. And, and, and Bonduel is experienced as well, and, and the culture with that program as well too. But and it's just a different level for Laconia. Here's a foul for Vandenberg. We've got... Uh, Caught with the hand in the proverbial cookie jar there, trying to reach around and tap it away from Haley Zernicki. Number two on Callista. And an underneath inbounds here for the Bears. And again, with such good defense played, you would assume there was more fouls, but it's been a cleanly played game for sure on both sides. Molly Duell fighting for a defensive board, and the jump ball keeps it with the Bears. And they're going to get Hishke back onto the floor as well. Hishke so far tonight has hit the 1-3. And Hishke averages 12 points per game. Quiet tonight. You can thank Aubrey Leonard, Peyton Morgan, and the likes for that. Here is Zernike. Had a size advantage, but Calista Vandenberg, check that, Tierney Madigan underneath was able to just affect that by keeping her hands straight up and did a nice job. Here is Finley Morgan on the left wing. Crosses and hands to Duell. Molly Duell with six minutes to go now in this one. Here goes Finley Morgan. And through the contact from Curry. Curry picks up the foul. Underneath inbounds for Molly Duell and the Spartans. Just got to look up on the wall and see all the Molly Duell track and field records she's got from, from the spring. She's a good track athlete as well and... Uh, does some of the long distance stuff for the Spartans. Molly Duell's got it now. Down in underneath to Calista Vandenberg. Duell once again surveys the floor, crosses once, spins back out, thinks better of it. Hands off to Aubrey Leonard. Leonard strong to the hoop, missed it. Offensive rebound, Calista Vandenberg. Count the basket and the foul for Calista Vandenberg. And she's got nine points, a chance to get it into double figures from the charity stripe. 
She just has so much fun playing the game of basketball, Calista Vandenberg. It doesn't, need, it doesn't always matter if it's going well for her either. She can have a game like, like last night. She's got 10 now. Game like last night, 82 points against Krivitz. The, the Spartans scored. She, she only scored two of them. Um, but she's always impactful for Laconia. It doesn't matter if she's necessarily scoring the ball. They have plenty of players that can do that. She's, a lot of intangibles she brings to the floor. Almost a steal here for Leonard. Working uh, to guard Hishke. Crossing over here is Thompson. Gets it over near side. Here's a three on the way for Wire. Missed it. A little bit strong on that one. And the rebound is down with Finley Morgan. Finley near side. Leonard wants a three. Missed it. Short. Rebound down with Curry. And Curry is able to keep her balance. She almost lost balance there, but she's got it. Here is Hishke, one-handed pass down underneath to Zernike. Up and under move for Zernike, nice move. And she is tough to handle is Haley Zernike. And she's having herself one whale of a ball game. Everyone else has nine points. She's up to 15 for Bonduel. Here's Molly Duell, finds Finley Morgan. Getting that crossing action out at the perimeter and finally getting some players on their way to the hoop. They had two two-point field goals at halftime. They've already got five of them here in the second half, and they've had some trips to the free throw line that you could almost count as that too. You know, they've hit their fair share of threes here in this second half as Laconia, but if you're Chris, Coach Morgan, man, I, I got to believe that you're liking what you're seeing in terms of halftime adjustments getting downhill to the hoop. Second free throw, up, oh, good. So Finley Morgan, one for two from the line, and Morgan, that's just her first point of the night. And we lost our scoreboard. <laughs> Here is Haley Thompson. Thompson, near side, working on wire. 41 to 24. Now they got it fixed. Here is Tierney Madigan. Madigan, bounce pass underneath, duel, duel. Had it blocked. Nice play by Wire. Wire snaps a pass up ahead to Thompson. Thompson's going to slow things down. Didn't have much help in the front court. Wires on the right side, down to the corner, and Zernike, late whistle, but a foul on Finley Morgan. And, yeah, good, good call there. Angle was clean up top, but Morgan underneath. And a chance to cut into this 17-point lead for the Spartans from the line for Zernike, and she makes the first. And now up to 16 points. And a full timeout here. Didn't I think that was Coach Morgan that got it. And uh, we're going to take 30 seconds and come back here with a 16-point Spartan lead. Stay with us here on Radio Plus. Planning a new building, whether it's commercial, ag, or residential, you need a building that will last. You need Pino. Our experienced design-build team will make your vision a reality. After all, we've been doing it for over 45 years. To start your next project, go to pinobuildings.com and you'll learn about the Pinot difference. Pinot, built better for future generations. Back here at the pit. Top girls basketball teams in the state will be assembled at the 48th WIAA State Girls Basketball Tournament, which runs March 7th through the 9th at the Resch Center in Green Bay. Take part in the true magic of March by accessing the WIAA website and clicking on the tickets link at the top of the page to order your State Girls Basketball Tournament tickets now, WIAAWI.org. Once again, thanks to all our sponsors up and down the line that have made this possible to cover this regional final and hopefully a, another road to the rush like we just mentioned there for the Laconia Spartans. Here is Haley Zernike from the free throw line and she is two for four. She's a 71% free throw shooter, missed a couple here tonight. And under four minutes to play, I think if that was any earlier in the game, Peyton Morgan might have triggered up that three in transition, but you can be a little bit patient here. You can be a lot bit patient if you want to be if you're the Spartans. With a 16-point lead on the Quest Interior scoreboard, you don't got to go crazy here shooting up, throwing up bad shots. Under four minutes to go, here's Leonard. 
Peyton Morgan looks for Finley Morgan. Finley's got it. She's going to shoot it from almost, that was shot from almost Fond du Lac over there and didn't make it. Offensive rebound, though, comes to Laconia. One-handed pass fired into Engel. Back out here to Leonard. Got to extend this 2-3 zone. That's what Bonduel's doing now. They got Leonard trapped a little bit, and Leonard's going to go to the baseline in another timeout for Coach Morgan. So another full timeout for Coach Morgan, and we'll take one more 30-second timeout. And we'll come back, last three minutes and 15 seconds after this. Stay with us. I would say the best part about our relationship with Bristol Morgan is the fact that they, they are local and they actually are there when we need them to be. Uh, they're very responsive and they do a great job for us, so we keep coming back. I mean, you need a lending partner that's going to, to be there when you need them. We've had a lot of growth over the last 15 years and specifically in the last five. Bristol Morgan has always been here to, to help us uh, find our way to that next level. Back here at the pit, 3.15 to go, 41 to 25 on the Quest Interior scoreboard. We continue to make progress, but there remains a shortage of WIAA licensed officials for a number of high school sports in Wisconsin. We salute those who have committed their time and effort to ensure we maintain education-based athletics. Because without officials, there are no games. Please don't hesitate. If you want to learn an exciting and rewarding experience, it's also a great way to earn more than a few dollars. Get licensed as a contest official today by accessing the Officials tab at the top of the WIAA website at WIAAWI.org to get started. Last three and change here in Aubrey Leonard, and in that timeout, Bonduel went to a man, and now they're going to kind of trap out of it. Now they're going to stay. I think it might be even be a 1-3-1 one, one now. It's a little bit different, but they're chasing the ball around is Bonduel. Might be worth starting to foul against a team that's not great from the free throw line in the Laconia Spartans. And now we have Wire who does give a foul. That's just the sixth team foul. So one more that they have to give to get Laconia to the free throw line. And if they start playing the foul game now, we could be in for long last couple of minutes. Backdoor cut from Aubrey Leonard. Finds Engel. Engel back out to duel. And the Spartans have no interest in scoring because that is a chance at the rim. Well, here is Molly Duel and Duel finishes at the rim. Anything, if it's if it's not a layup, you can't shoot it. That's the rules right now for Laconia. And Duel had a layup, and she finished. 18-point lead for the Spartans. Underneath, here is Wire. Missed it. Contest was made by Tierney Madigan, who's got it here in the backcourt. Rip through. Madigan into the front court, down to the corner with Peyton Morgan. And again, Laconia is going to slow it down, as they should. And Aubrey Leonard's going to go to the free throw line. Leonard is 66% from the line. Peyton Morgan's the best free throw shooter. Then comes Leonard, then comes Finley Morgan. But all of them are right about 66%. So it's no foregone conclusion that the Spartans make free throws. And they miss one here. So the foul game probably going to be played for the last two minutes for Bonduel. It's their chance to get back into this thing, but they got to hit some shots on the other end. This is tipped out by Aubrey Leonard, and they'll stay with the Bears. 2.07 to go, and Laconia in prime position here to secure a regional plaque and continue on to the sectional round and uh, play either, uh, well, right now it looks like Seeing in the comments, probably St. Mary Catholic, but we'll see. A lot of ball game left in that one. And the rebound here is down with Aubrey Leonard as the miss that time was from Hischke. And a foul to send Leonard back to the stripe. This time it was Thompson on the foul. And Curry back into the game along with Callista Vandenberg. Curry rejoining for Bonduel. Buck 48 in this one. And another chance here for Aubrey Leonard. She missed her first one and misses this one as well. Front end of a couple of chances. Goes a begging for the Spartans. Here is Hishke. Gets the ball to the post. Kicks it back out. Zernike, it's been her night. Missed it on the shot at the middle of the paint. And Duell's going to get fouled this time by Hishke. So not a lot of time coming off the clock, but not any points going back on for Bonduel. Laconia has missed two straight. They could have paid it off at the other end. That would certainly make Laconia 
at least sweat a little bit in the last minute and a half, but Bonduel has had it empty, and here is another miss. So all three single bonuses are missed front ends for Laconia. Here's Thompson. Bounce pass down here to Hishke. She's going to shoot a three. Misses it strong. Rebound down with Duel. Duel gets it to Madigan. Up ahead here to Leonard. And Leonard, oh, man. It was almost saved by wire. And good, good quick hands by Aubrey Leonard. Or that would have hit her in the face. Morgan will key it in. She's going to throw it to Aubrey Leonard with a minute and 15 seconds left. And we'll see if, if they're still going to foul. They will give the foul out here with Haley Thompson. They didn't chase Leonard into the backcourt. I thought maybe they were calling off the dogs, but you gotta still got 70 seconds left in this one. You got to give it a shot. And that's what Bonduel does. So a third chance for Leonard from the line, and maybe it's just when you get the double bonus it just relaxes you on the first. I don't know, but she makes that one. Second free throw for Leonard rattles home as well. So she's two for four from the line, and she's up to eight points tonight. Here's Zernike. She's going to key up a right wing three. And Zernike hits another. That's her third. And she's a 20, like I mentioned, just a 24% three-point shooter. But she's had it going tonight. Madigan in the front court. Here is Leonard. Leonard to the middle of the paint. Fouled by Curry. And back to the line she goes. 53 seconds left in this one after the game. We'll be down on the floor with the... Winning team right now it looks like the Laconia Spartans. And Laconia comes up short on this one with Aubrey Leonard. And Finley Morgan back onto the floor. And Callista Vandenberg comes out and gets a huge round of applause from everyone as Leonard hits the second. And obviously this is the last game here at the pit for Callista Vandenberg. So Tip of the cap to Coach Morgan who wanted to get her a standing ovation as she uh, sees her career come to an end at the pit. What a great place for a basketball game. Uh, just an awesome venue. And like I said, at some point, it's all going to go away. Here's a foul given by Hishke and sends Madigan to the free throw line. At some point, you know, I understand the, uh, the bigger, brighter, flashy arenas. That all takes over. I get it. But, man, there's just something awesome about a an arena like this. And first free throw for Madigan, up and good. She has been dynamite from the from the line tonight. She is five of her first six. And make it five out of her first seven. And the lead back up to 19. This is the largest it's been all night for the Spartans. Here is a nice cut from Curry. And Ashling Curry gets it to go. Timeout for... Bonduel, and they only have a 30 left, so we'll keep it right here. Last 21 seconds of the game. After the game, we'll, we'll take a quick break, and then we'll be down there. We'll rejoin you down on the court with the players and give you our pregame show. And uh, the timeout here was a substitutionary timeout, and uh, the thank you senior chant from the Bonduel team. Both teams going to empty the benches, so to speak. And uh, for the, uh, the Bonduel Bears, say uh, goodbye to Haley Zernike, who had a, just a tremendous game here tonight. Ella Hishke, Ashlyn Curry, Haley Thompson, four stellar seniors who have been around for a lot of success for the Bonduel Bears. And just the uh, kind of the sobering realization that that's what happens for Almost every senior every year is that's how it ends, unfortunately. Here is Johnson. And Laconia just going to run out this last couple of seconds here. And uh, a nice block there by Wire. One second left. Heave up a three. Not going to get it off. Final score here tonight. 30 points in the second half for the Spartans. And they win it 47-30 to 30 here tonight. They move on to the sectional semifinal. And we'll see who they play. Uh, probably St. Mary Catholic. Yeah, St. Mary Catholic looks like they're running away from Crandon. So this sets up one juicy matchup in the sectional semifinal between St. Mary Catholic and Laconia. 
and a uh, chance for Laconia maybe to prove that they should have been the one seed. Huh, who knows? But it'll be played on a, a neutral floor coming up on Thursday. Let's take a timeout. We come back. We'll be down on the floor with the winning Spartans. They got a regional pl plaque coming their way with a 47-30 win over Bonduel. Stay with us on our piece Video Sports. Some great deals await at Brandon Meats this week. Eight ounce chopped sirloin for $1.99 each. The boneless Brandon style ribs at $2.59 per pound. The garlic butter marinated chicken breast, $2.99 per pound. Round steak or Swiss steak, $4.99 per pound. And smoked Polish sausage, $2.99 per pound. Brandon Meats, open this week, Monday through Thursday, 7 to 5, Friday, 7 till 6, and Saturday, 7 till 3. Log on, BrandonMeats.com. Redeker Dairy Equipment has been taking care of the needs of area farmers for over 50 years. They're your one-stop shop for Delaval milking equipment. And Redeker Dairy Equipment sells and maintains every system from rotary parlors to robotic equipment. They'll deliver chemicals, dips, and supplies right to your farm. Redeker Dairy has an electrical department that offers residential, commercial, and industrial services. Good luck, Spartans, from Redeker Dairy Equipment in Brandon. The Rosendale Brandon School District blends small school values with large school opportunities to inspire families, students, and staff to choose our schools. At Rosendale Brandon Schools, we strive to connect our families to what's happening in our schools. We put what's best for our students at the forefront of each decision. We attract and retain an amazing staff with a passion for teaching children, and we celebrate our families, students, and staff. Rosendale Brandon School District, the school district of choice. Go Spartans! Back here at the pit, coach. That was fun, man. What wasn't it? Yeah, that was that was an amazing game. You know, stands were packed, great atmosphere. I'm just glad we came out of the top end. It makes it a lot more fun. Uh, 47-30 for you guys. 30 second half points. What changed at halftime? 
Uh, I don't think we changed anything really. I mean, we I think we wore them down. I think that's what you see in a lot of games. We are just uh, we're deep, we're athletic, we are well conditioned, and a lot of times we just wear teams down in the second half. Uh, when you look at what Callista was able to do, uh, that was a battle against their two three zone. What'd you like from her tonight? Yeah, I thought Callista came with toughness tonight. Um, she had some great plays in there. You know, she had a couple great takes early and, and didn't get the call, but she didn't hang her head. She just came back, went at it again, and I thought she played stronger on the hoop tonight and really went into contact instead of shying away. I thought it was great. She made some huge baskets for us. Breaking out the, uh, the, the, the ladder once again never gets old, does it? It doesn't. This is fun stuff. Coach, congratulations. Uh, best of luck the rest of the way. Thanks, Jordan. There you go. That's Coach Morgan. Uh, we're going to see if we can steal a couple of players here during the, uh, the post game. We'll let them cut down the nets here, and, and then we will uh, we'll work our way around once they all got a chunk of it. Let's, uh, we'll work our way over here. Girls, can we, uh, can we grab you for just a second? Uh, we'll start here with Tierney. Um, Tierney, 11 points tonight. Um, free throw shooting has been a problem for you guys a little bit this season. Um, but you five for seven tonight from the line is a physical game um, Just your thoughts on being able to be say regional champs again um, So it was like a slow start to the game, which wasn't great But we knew we just had to come out strong in the second half and we were playing good defense the whole game But um, our scoring wasn't there the first half, but we came out so strong in the second and that's I think how we pulled it away uh, Just talk about the free throws um, the, the process that it's been for you girls over the course of the season Yeah, we, we're not always great at free throws I mean or I'm not at least but there's other girls on our team that are good, but um, this game it wasn't great, but we, we're getting better, I feel like, like towards the end of the season, which is a good thing. Like I just told uh, Coach Morgan, ladder's out again. This, uh, you don't get sick of this, do you? No. Congratulations. Good luck the rest of the way. Thank you. Uh, Peyton will bring in here. Um, early on in the game, that 2-3 zone, they're physical. It's tough to get things going to the hoop. Um, you guys were able to make some shots. A three-point shot was falling tonight. How important is that for you guys? It is very, very important. We pack, we shoot every single day at practice and even like in our own time. And I think just even if shots aren't falling, there's always another option for us. So it's, it's a big part of our game. You, know, you guys average 73 or so points a game. In a game like this, grind it out, 47 team that you can win in different ways. I think it really, really says a lot. We knew, Bondwell is such a good team. They had a really amazing defense. And we haven't really scored 45 points or whatever in a very very long time and I think it just it proves that even in the tough situations the close games we are able to build together as a team and come together and really just pull it off. Uh, I'm going to mention the, your guys' last loss uh, not to bring up a bad bad memories but that was the last time you guys were held to 40 points and you did lose that game. Did you learn anything from the from that game from those losses earlier in the season when maybe the offense wasn't quite there? Yeah I think the big part of those losses were our turnovers, and I think tonight our ball movement and just our spacing in general on offense, it very, very much improved since the Edgewood game. Congratulations. Best luck the rest of the way, Peyton. Thank you so much. There you go. That's Peyton Morgan. Um, we'll see if we can uh, steal Calista here. Can we steal you for two seconds? Calista, um, we, won't, we won't get sappy about it being your last game at the pit or anything like that, but um, they were the physical team. That's a tough team that you guys just beat. Just talk about the win. They're, yeah, we knew they were going to be big, and they're built, and uh, we're more speed-oriented, so we came in, and we knew defense was going to have to be where it was at, and we just said have to work for every loose ball, and we did that, and we played great D that whole game. Coach, Coach mentioned just staying level-headed for you. I mean, it would have been easy after some physical play, whistles don't go your way maybe for you to put your head down. Uh, what's, what's going through your mind at that moment for what you have to do for your team? Well, like you said, last game in the pit, it's sad. It's, that's part of keeping your head level. You never know when your last game's going to be, so you just need to work hard every single play of every part of the game. Are you going to lobby to take that net home this time? I mean, you guys have cut down so many of them, you got to start giving them away, right? I know. I was like, the athletic director's going to be like, we just paid for two last year. <laughs> but, yeah, no, it, feels, it just feels great. It's great to do this. Congratulations. Best of luck the rest of the way. Thank you so much. There you go. That's Calista Vandenberg. She's got the regional, uh, the, the, the plaque there. They're regional champs. We're going to wrap it up here. 47-30, the final score here. Leading scorer tonight was Tierney Madigan with 11. I'd be remiss to not mention Haley Zernike, who had a tremendous night for, uh, for Bonduel. She had 19 for the Bears, the, the game's high scorer. Um, but Laconia, as they do so often, they just grind you out. They wear you down, like Coach Morgan said. They're able to grind out a 47-30 win here. Regional champs again. 
they're cutting down the nets again. It's, it's incredible what this program's been able to do. But uh, this is just the start. I think if you talk to all of them, uh, this is not the end goal for them. Uh, they want another trip to the Resch Center and another state championship uh, if they can do that coming up here in a couple of weeks. Jordan King saying so long. Thanks to uh, Carrie and the, the guys. Appreciate them this evening. Appreciate all our sponsors up and down the line. Appreciate Coach Morgan. Appreciate Athletic Director Moon. And I appreciate you tuning in here on RP Video Sports. Good night. Radio Plus Sports. The complete broadcast schedule can be found at radioplusinfo.com.